working? Yes. Great. So hello, my name is Yogenta. Uh, do you hear me or? Yeah, okay. Uh, so hello, my name is Yogenta. Uh, and today I will um, speak about sculptural ventriloquism. <laughs> it's very difficult. Uh, in the age of uh, marginalized cultural media. So, um, I will start with this video. Well, Jerry, that's, that's just about it. You mean the show is over? Well, in a few minutes it will be. Last show of the season. And then we go on vacation? We certainly do. Oh, say, by the way, uh, did you get all of the stuff out of the dressing room so we could take it with us? Oh, sure. It's right there on a suitcase. Oh, this? Mm-hmm. Well, what in the world is this? So, um, Paul Wincher was an American ventriloquist, comedian, and actor. And this is Jerry Mahoney, the best-known Winchell's uh, dummy. So, why I'm using this... Um, uh, ventriloquism term in this context because we have a lot of examples of sculptural ventriloquism in Lithuania and especially in Vilnius. So um, what do I mean when, I, when I'm saying this? Uh, I will give you a f um, few examples um, which will help you to understand the obsession uh, of uh, the er erection of uh, commemorative and decorative sculptures in Vilnius. Um, and the tendency that the voice emanate not from the sculpture objects itself, but from the person or power who initiated this. So this guy is Vaidas Ramoshka. He is producing his angel uh, project for more than 10 years. And uh, at the end of last year we he, sorry he built new one uh, four meters high and uh, actually mm, it is near this place <laughs> so you can find it very easily um, so why while art uh, professionals uh, are still talking about the plans uh, sorry uh, about the plans uh, or methods how to save Vilnius from these infantile and childish uh, attributes, this white being somehow become almost the symbol of the city and the newest idea is to create Angel Square in front of the cathedral. Yeah, this is the proposal. Um, now I will show you a short um, except from my um, television show um, and this is English subtitle so you can understand but it, it will be in Lithuanian. Kitas būdas artimiau vesti dialogą su skulptūromis inicijuoti naujų statymą, būtent tų, kurias norėtų matyti pats. Paminklas Frankui Zapai Kalinauskos kvere pastatytas 96-aisiais, skulptorius Konstantinas Bogdanas. Paminklo idėja – Saulius Paukščio. Kas sugalvojo, tai tas ir turi visas iniciatyvas šiuo atveju, o kai, kai yra, taip sakant, nuleidžiama iš viršaus ten ministerijos ar, ar, ar vyriausybės ar savivaldybės, tai kyla daug iš karto visokių komplikacijų, kaip pats ir iškia viską e, turi savo rankose, tai, tai pats ir darai, iš esmės, e, na, kaip, kaip nori. As you wish, <laughs> yeah. So, this guy is my another example. He is Solus Pukštys, well known as an initiator and creator of public projects. Uh, now in Vilnius we can see a few of his initiated sculptural projects and uh, this is the best example how easy uh, to create your personal dummies if you have strong support from um, uh, investors, uh, funders and other good people in the city. Um, also these examples show how sculptures transform into dummies uh, because creators have almost all the power to control where they should stand and what they should say. 
Um, but now I want to talk about the uh, opposite situation. Next year, Lithuania will celebrate the centenary of the Lithuanian Republic. So one of the ways to do it is to start building the new commemorative sculpture. One of them is for Jonas Basanavich, um, the patriarch of the Lithuanian nation. Where, uh, sorry, there were several uh, competitions for Dr. Um, Jonas Basanavich's monument. First one was initiated by the biggest investment group, MG Baltic. Um, uh, they wanted to create sculpture uh, according to the 1926 conceptual model of sculptor Rapalas Yakimavichus. But Vilnius uh, municipality refused to accept the gift from MG Baltic and called a new competition. This one provoked a big confusion and total mess in the cultural field. Yeah, you can see um, the results of this competition. And, um, um, sorry. Um, <coughs> so we see that, um, um, yeah. You can watch. Um, yeah, this uh, one provoked a big confusion and mess uh, in cultural field because, because competition terms were really bureaucratic and unsuitable for young artists. Uh, also because none uh, of art uh, historians or other uh, professionals were included in the commission. There's, the results um, were disappointing and the winner were announced, but next step in this story is really unclear. A similar example is sculptural uh, monumental dedicated for freedom in Lukishka Square. Two years ago, I was the first journalist who found out about the idea of this sculpture from the man who was working as the right hand of the Prime Minister and was forming the uh, commemoration program of 2018. So uh, let's uh, watch this video. Inklas, koks tam bus niekam netrukdys, jeigu jis bus normalus, jeigu jis nebus koks iššaukiantis ar jeigu bus suprantamas visiems. Jeigu mes žinoma, pastatysim dar vieno vamzdį, tai tai vieni pradės ten paišyti ant jo, dar kitai, tai jis bus nereikalingas. Mes turim pastatyti normalų paminklą, kurie visi sakyt, taip, čia mūsų paminklas. Dar geriau, kad mes galėtum kiekvienas jam po 2 eurus duoti, ir aiškiai, jis sakyt, o čia žinoma, mano paminklas, aš už jį mokėjau. Ir žiūrėkit, o kodėl mums mum netinka? Žiūrėkit, tai? Čia nėra tas modelis, kuris bus statomas. Modelis sukurs tie, kurie dalyvus konkurse, bus konkursas, be abejonės, turi būti geriausia Lietuvos skulptorė, turi dalyvauti ir jie turi, taip sakant, pasukurti valstybę simbolių. Ok, that's it. Um, this is video of the organizers and the uh, communicating about uh, themselves like this. Um, let's play. Keep, keep on playing. Yeah. Uh, so, this symbol is the Lithuanian coat of arm, uh, known as Vikas. The idea of this symbol was proposed and the competition was initiated by the public committee of Vikas. It consists uh, of several social organizations, among them Lithuanian Freedom Fighters Union, Lithuanian Independence Defenders, Brotherhood, and others. The result, uh, the result is also clear, but uh, what's next? Nobody knows. So, what have cultural media done? Uh, what have cultural media done? Uh, this time, cultural media, uh, contrary to earlier, earlier examples, have reacted uh, actively enough. Uh, they published the petitions 
uh, against the uh, erection of commemorative sculptures, also try to criticize the terms of uh, competitions, and finally the sculptural, sculptural form uh, in itself. But the result of this was that the opinion of the professionals um, were, was ignored, and now they are marginalized by uh, municipality and initiative organizations. Uh, so I need to, to mention that in this case, uh, urban cultural issues move to political level, where the opinion of the artists, art critics, and uh, other professionals is, uh, mm, I don't know how to say, uh, derogated. Uh, uh, this is the quote of the Lithuanian uh, historian who says that artists should, uh, should stay somewhere on the side. So we uh, can say the opinion of other side. <laughs> um, now we have a vice versa situation and sculptural objects become ventriloquists and those who are trying to erect them become dummies. Uh, the cultural media are uh, devalued because it pays unequal attention uh, to all of the sculptural processes. Uh, the widespread stereotype that cultural media are very insular and self-centered uh, also seems to be confirmed and reinforced in this situation. What's next? Nobody knows. 